How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, something different today. We're uh, down the bottom of the garden in our little art studio, as you can see behind me. Uh, this is where I, I do all my, uh, my painting and my pictures, which is going to be another video. But what we're going to be doing today is looking at kit and equipment. I've had a few people ask me um, what gear do I take with me when I go on a photo shoot, you know, what bag do I use, what camera have I got, what lens, etc, uh, etc. Et so, that's what we're going to be looking at today. Right, so when I go off on a shoot, everything I take with me goes in this bag or on it. So, the bag itself, it's a mind shift um, backlight, 36 litre. I am not going to go and do a massive in-depth review on this bag. There's loads of reviews on it, so if you want to know all the technical details, the specs, what it's made of, there's other videos on YouTube. I want to show you what I take. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it after, but nothing too in-depth and fancy. Um, looking at the outside of the bag, okay, first off, most importantly, it'll take a flask in the side pocket, okay, there's two side pockets, this one I generally use for putting the tripod in, the other one, the old Stanley flask will go in it, that's a one litre, uh, dead important, especially this time of year, um, yeah, we all like a brew, don't we, when we're out, so, first things first, so that's that side, on the back of it, I always take with me, a camo net and for that reason well the reason I take a camo net is if I want to knock a hide up I can do that dead easy uh, if I want to just chuck it over myself you know if I'm if I've seen something I want to watch and I want that bit of concealment I can just chuck that over I can make a nice quick hide dead good light uh, that's what's three meters by two meters that I have two of these one's a slightly different color so depending on the time of year um, you know you might want to blend in a bit better the, the foliage might be a different colour um, so two different types um, there is another one actually on the market and I think it's by Tragapan and it's more of a like a brackeny colour so I might just invest in one of them at some point um, we'll, we'll have a think about that but yeah it's nice to have a few different options you know so you get the the right coloration you know to go with the foliage so you don't want to stand out but camo net is a must brilliant bit of kit all right other side of the bag we've got our trusty tripod this one is made by a company called novo they're a british company i got it from um, a firm called uk digital that are out of clitheroe uh, so we'll have a look at that Belting tripod, a um, couple of hundred quid I think it was, goes to a fair old height, uh, it usually comes with a centre column, that's part of it, I've taken the centre column out because what I what I like to do is I like to get the tripod down low, loads of settings, nice, nicely made, really well engineered, so we can have it you know, in that orientation, we can actually get it more or less flat on the ground. Uh, and legs just clip up, so look at that, that's fantastic, that'll go really, really low to the ground, you know, getting them nice um, low level shots for ground birds or, or you know, hers, whatever, really. Um, we've got loads of adjustment on it, I, I like these these uh, these turn ferrules, so I can turn them all at the same time, so I've got that, you know, that'll give me a fair old bit of height, that will and shut them all down, and then you can they'll all shut at the same time. I find them better than the clip ones, they're, they're less fiddly. I've put a bit of um, a bit of camo tape on these, uh, protects it and also it helps to conceal it a bit more as well. On the top we have the Benro carbon gimbal. Um, brilliant, really really nice bit of kit. Nice and light. Um, again 200 and some not sure I'm what I'm going to do at the end of the video I'll put a link to all these all these bits of kit and uh, you know you can have a look at them at your leisure but uh, yeah I really like this gimbal quick release uh, Arca Swiss plate on them 
um, yeah it's just a nice bit of kit there's no no giving it as well really well engineered and obviously with it being carbon you know we're saving on the weight which is all important so bob that away that's our tripod which is a must because of the big lens <clears throat> okay going back to the bag now this bit of kit here I only got this for Christmas and I didn't know how much I'd use it but I use it all the time it's a cracking bit of kit and all it is it's just a waterproof mat um, again not expensive 20 odd quid I think something like that but especially in our climate you know we've, we've a lot of wet weather aren't we and the ground's always wet and it rolls out it's a fair old they're all lengthy, must, I don't know, it's a good good four foot that, maybe five foot actually. And opens up like that. Still damp from this morning when I were out, but um, that's a company called Limpix. Uh, nylon, fully waterproof. That's the waterproof side. And uh, so I can lie on that full length. And it just saves your backside getting getting wet through, doesn't it? You know, I can open it out. I can put me I can put my camera bag on. I can put my camera gear on. It just keeps everything nice and clean. So that is uh, that's a great bit of kit. Really good bit of kit. That right now the bag itself. This particular bag. A lot of them now they are a rear opening bag. So if I'm out and about, I want to get my camera out. I can just dump my bag down. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about that, does it? It doesn't matter about that getting mucked up and wet. The bit I don't want to get wet and mucky is the bit that's going against my back. So that's the idea behind these, these rear loading bags. Real good design. Nice big finger loops on them. Uh, right down to the bottom, that opens up. There's all my gear. Okay. Back flap there with two compartments. That top one, multi-tool, invaluable, really good. That's a Stanley one, Stanley, Stanley Fat Max, dead handy because it's got the pliers on it. You know, you need a pair of pliers and you're out and you haven't got anything, you're snooking, aren't you? So just handy to have, really. That in there, lens cloth, put what you want in there, really. What have we got in here? Oh, a mozzie net. A must for anyone that goes up Scotland, especially in the summer. A few quid from uh, Decathlon, I think. About three quid, cheap as chips. Handy to have. There's Bob's in there. Okay, right, what else have we got? Right, the main compartment. As you can see, nice big compartment. All these, you can, you can change them around to, to suit your equipment. At the moment, I've got a 150 to 600, uh, and it takes that actually on the body. Um, again, if you want the technical specs and whether it will take a big 600 or whatever, um, have a look on the website. But going to our, our camera, pop that down for now. Okay, camera wise. I've just changed to uh, Nikon D500 and I love it, it's a brilliant camera, really nice. I had the D7200 before and it actually had a higher pixel count, It was fine. I got some really good shots with it but I just wanted, I wanted the extra frames per second so this will do 10 frames a second and it has a better low light capability than the 7200 so sensitivity to light it's it's really nice i was going to go to a full full frame but reading reviews and looking at what other people said about it it is you know it's pretty much on a par with with some of the full frame nikons so yeah I, i'm more than happy with it at the moment i really really like it and it'll shoot in 4k as well 4k video which is amazing um, a really nice feature of this camera is the uh, it's touchscreen You've got all the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all that kind of malarkey, but this is fantastic. You've got the touchscreen, which actually tilts. So um, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be using a, a low-level hide, and 
it's a nightmare when you're led down and you're trying to look through the viewfinder and you're low down it, it kills your neck um, but that I've just been I've been practicing with it and if you put it on live view and you can just you can view you know through there you can you can move your focus points uh, you can you can you can do all sorts on that touch screen so that is it's a fantastic bit of kit really really nice bit of tech is that um, so that's our camera the Nikon D500 uh, lens wise I'm using at the moment I'm on a Sigma 150 to 600 uh, it's f5 to 6.3 um, it's the contemporary version not the sport version uh, it's the cheaper one but I must admit I am really really impressed with it I've had some great shots with it I know I know there's better better lenses and faster glass out there you know I'd, I'd love to have a 600mm <laughs> a f4 but uh, yeah I think um, it's a remortgage job in it for one of them but uh, you never know one day one day we'll get one but uh, for now this this does me fine it's a really cracking lens um, yeah I love it so um, we've got neoprene covers on it more, not really for concealment but more for protection um, I tend to chuck a scrim net over if um, if you know I need a bit more camouflage uh, yeah great great little setup that's our camera Oh, sorry. On the back, this is. Uh, I changed the strap on it because the um, the thing when when you're photographing, um, I found the strap gets in the way. You need a strap on it, you know, obviously for uh, for safety and that. But when it once it's up on the tripod and it's safe, you want to be able to lose it really. So this is a this is a peak design one, and it has these little quick release tabs on. They just flick off like that, quick as that. Another one on the other side, and they're, they're brilliant, really good. Um, when you get the, the strap, it comes with extra sets of these tabs. So if you have a spur body, you can just put them on and you can use that strap on you know on all the different cameras that you have. So that's a great bit of kit that. Well that's our camera. Right, going back to the bag. What else have we got? Okay, um, flashes. Always carry a couple of flashes just in case. These are the Harnell Modus 600RT. Really nice bit of kit, these. Love them. Um, they've got the rechargeable cells inside them. So they last, they seem to last forever. Really good. Still getting used to them, we've not had them too long, but um, yeah, we're going to be using them a lot more this year. Always, always handy to have flashes with you. So, with two of them, we have right these these bags. These are from I got these from Decathlon Sports. Bought them when I were over in France, but they do them all. You can get them in the UK as well, and they're just a little accessory bag. You know, they did belt clips on. That were about I think it was about seven quid. It was, and that smaller one that were about a fiver. So, dead cheap. Um, this one. What have I got in here? Oh, that's it, I've just dropped everything out of it. Uh, lens wipes, so cleaning stuff. You get your lenses mucky when you're out, you need to be able to clean them. Lens brush as well, one of them. Spare plates. Uh, that is the, um, that's the Viper, that's the TTL, that's the controller for the flashes, so that's nice and safe in there. Again, we've uh, you know we've other other pockets we can put stuff, but they're they're a dead good bag. Them they're, they're grand for the money. You can't you can't go wrong with them. This one, I just have batteries in here, so I've got me uh, I've got my spare camera batteries. I've got uh, double A's, triple A's for me uh, flashlights. I also have um, a couple of Allen keys for the tripod legs. They have been known to just come loose, so just to tweak them up. Like I said, spur spur camera batteries. Always make sure they're charged. Get them back in here as soon as you've uh, you're back from your photo shoot. That's them. Okay, camera cleaning again. Little rocket blower. You don't want to be um, you don't want to be wiping uh, your lenses before 
you're blowing any stuff off. If you've got grit on the lens and you wipe it, you're going to scratch it. I always put UV filters on any lens that I have. Um, if the if the UV filter gets scratched, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just get a new one, don't you? But you've not knackered your lens up, so the blow is a good idea. Also for uh, this, your sensor as well, in case you get muck on it. Spare SD cards. Um, as I was saying before, when you've got back from a shoot, get all your all your footage off, all your stills, get it onto the computer, get them back in there, or get them back in the camera. You don't want to be stuck without them. You can't take any pictures. Right, another lens. We have got an 18 to 135, nice versatile little telephoto there. Um, yeah, cracking little lens. To be honest, I use that. 95% of the time the big one so it's just handy to have no no great weight to it I usually have a 50mm prime as well for any landscapes that I fancy doing um, I've learned that somewhere at the moment teleconverter I bought this last year and I'll be honest I haven't used it uh, I haven't had the need to use it so but it's a 1.4 um, so you're not losing uh, too much light obviously you know when you put a teleconverter on you lose you, you know you lose stops don't you so that's that's just handy to have uh, you might need a bit more reach so it's always there don't take up a lot of space nice thing to have okay what else right little tripod this came with um, a Novo monopod that I bought I haven't really used the monopod to be honest um, this I've used a lot and I use it for uh, macro, I use it for photographing fungi, really nicely made and I use it for my vlogging camera as well but that's it, just adjusts out. These legs it's so sturdy for such a small tripod so if, again if I want to get it low down I can and I've got, uh, I've got the adjustment it's got a ball head on it but a great little bit of kit that um, it falls back in on itself. I can also use it as um, I can use that as a selfie stick. So if I want to mount my vlogging camera, if I'm walking along, I can hold that and I've, I can talk into the camera. So that's a great little tripod to have. There you go. That's that. LED torch again. Um, I've used that for when I've been photographing fungi. I can just um, you know tie wrap it to a, a tree or a bit of masking tape or whatever, and uh, use it as a light source. Head torch. If we get caught out when we're out uh, out at night time, always handy. Nice to see where you're going. Bit of tape, just handy to have in it. You know, if a strap breaks or something or uh, or whatever, just always handy. A bit of uh, bit of insulation tape. Couple of spare lens covers, stop any uh, any rubbish getting in our our camera. Um, the ball head that came with the tripod, so I took that off and put the gimbal head on. But again, uh, certain circumstances where I might not want the gimbal head, I can uh, put that back on. And the low pro box with our remote shutter releases these are panel capture um, brilliant they're really really handy uh, very reliable I actually um, used them last year uh, I was photographing some kingfishers on the local river and where I put the camera I couldn't I couldn't get concealed so I set my camera up I pre-focused on this particular branch uh, I put my remote shutter release on and set the camera up I was about 40 50 yards away with my binoculars for, you know I was watching for the kingfishers came down bang 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 and I got some cracking shots I never got them without them so they are really handy to have and again if it's low light and you need to be you know dropping your shutter speed right down you don't you know you're going to create that camera shake aren't you you know by by manually pressing your, your shutter release so if you need to they're always handy to have Cuts down on camera shake, but yeah, quick get there. Really reliable. That is it for inside the bag. So, 
Let's shut the bag up and we'll have a look what's on the outside. Okay, this particular bag we have one, two, three, four openings. The top one is specifically for it's uh, a tripod attachment point. Okay, if you want to carry the tripod down the middle, they reckon it's better balanced if you have the tripod down the middle. I use it on the side. Uh, that's just personal preference. That's all that's for. It's for attaching around the uh, the tripod. Just tuck that away in that little. Little velcro fastening on there. This one we have our rain cover, which is handy, really handy, especially in this country. Okay, so it is water waterproof to a degree, but it's not a hundred percent waterproof. It is with that on. Okay. So that's a way. Right. This next compartment, this is a big compartment, this actually. So we'll do that. Got the nice big openers on again. So that opens all the way down and opens up. Now, what we got in here? <clears throat> Something I never go out with without Deer Hunter 3D Sneaky Camo. Uh, this was, I saw this on a video by Morton Hilmer and he was photographing, uh, I think he was photographing woodpeckers. And I was amazed at how effective this was. Now, I got it. Uh, I got it last year, and I'd only ever used the um, the head cover and the gloves. And the other, um, I was making a film last week. It was the woodpecker video. You might have seen it. And I spotted a couple of raw deer. Now, I actually went and asked the uh, the landowner's permission after that. After I'd seen these raw deer. And I got permission to uh, to go and photograph on his land, and I thought well, I'll just try out. I just went down for an hour. It was probably half three, four o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I thought I'll try the the deer hunter camo out, and I was amazed at how effective it was. It was unbelievable. Within 20 minutes, I had um, I had a couple of deer within probably 40 feet of me, and. <laughs> they didn't have a clue I was there. It was amazing. I got some really nice shots. Um, so this stuff, it's not expensive. I think it's about 90 quid. So you get the pants, you get the, the top, and it's dead light. It's just dead easy. You just chuck it on over over your existing clothes. But it's, it's the fact that it's got all these little... Um, I forget what, I don't know what you call them really. But just the, the tazzly bits, if you will that break up your outline and in a breeze you know that just it just blows and it looks so natural amazing stuff really good so you get the pants um, you get a smock with a hood uh, that's that um, you get that's the head scarf it's like a balaclava with a um, it's got a thin veil inside you get all this on and uh, you just disappear into the uh, undergrowth. Amazing stuff. That's that. And you also get a pair of gloves, which are dead good because it's all about concealment. I'm a wildlife photography. I mean, you see people out and they've, the first thing that, that you see is the face and your hands. You know, So if you don't get them covered up, you're on a, you're on a loser straight away. There's your gloves. Come in a little bag. So that's that's dead good. Never go anywhere without that. <clears throat> okay, neck snood. Keep your neck warm. No worse than being cold. So got one of them. Waterproof cover for the camera and lens. Again, a must in our climate, isn't it? Yeah. No matter how much they say your uh, your camera's waterproof and it's weather sealed. I don't like them getting wet, so I'll always, uh, I'll always put a cover on them. So that only cheap that one. Now going back to um, concealment, I always have a few of these scrim scarves. This one's quite a big in this. Um, I think it was about 15 quid maybe, but it's got a DPM uh, pattern on one side. It's quite a fancy one. This uh, you can chuck it over yourself. Look at that. The bag. You know, straight away, it's um, you know it's concealed. They're superb. So we've got one of those. We have 
this is um, I think this is a genuine oh, I mean uh, uh, um, MOD one there are about five of them cheap as chips so one of them that's another one slightly different olive green a bit lighter that one again probably a fiver can't afford not to have them really but for uh, just chucking over the camera uh, again it's all about concealment in it so can't not have them really again uh, the little camouflage balaclava now okay RAV power four panel solar charger brilliant bit of kit if you're out on a full day you might be away on two two or three days on a camping trip and uh, photographing if you've no power you go start you um, sling that up on a tree and it'll charge three devices so you could be charging a, a power bank a laptop you know if you've taken your laptop away um, batteries great bit of kit that so it doesn't have to work in direct sunlight, it'll work in uh, just as long as you, you know it's, it's daylight. So that's this. I've just put a bit of cord on that, a bit of paracord on it and a couple of um, a couple of them little little carabiners just for you know hanging it up in the right place. That's that. Now that's with other pockets in there as well. You can actually fit a laptop in there. Uh, other little pockets, brushes, whatever. Of anything in here at the moment. All right, that's uh, that's for our batteries. So if we haven't got that, we can't charge the batteries. So again, that I think that was a uh, that was an Amazon purchase, probably about a tenner. So aftermarket piece, but fine, works a treat. Uh, one more pocket to go. What have we got in here? Right. <laughs> I didn't explain what that is, needn't I? Uh, Andy wipes and a bit of uh, bit of toilet roll in case you get caught short. Right, what have we got in here? Now, this little bag. I don't know if you've seen one of one of the uh, setup videos. You know, um, I do I do set up quite a few scenarios. You know, where you've got uh, perches and that for small birds. So all this is really this little bag. It's just an accessory bag. For if I want to set up any uh, any little feeding pots, these are just milk bottle tops. Okay, you can screw them onto the back of a, a branch. I've got zip a, a knife in here. If I need to, uh, you know, cut any branches or anything. We've got zip ties, an assortment of zip ties. We've got big thickens, um, small size ones. I've probably got half a dozen. Half a dozen bottle tops there, so they're little feeding pots. They're on me zip ties, a bit of cordage. And what else have we got? There's a camo camo strap there with a buckle on it. And a few screws and a little screwdriver. So if we need to, uh, that's another pot, another couple of pots there. They're just handy to have, you know, if you're, um, I know, you know, when I go photographing in nature reserves, you get people, you know, feeding the birds and you, you know, you could get to some feeding stations and there's loads of birds around, but if they're on a bird table, they never look right, do they? So you can, you know, set a little perch up, put a little feeding pot behind and you get some good shots, a little screwdriver so you can, uh, for the wood screws, that's that. Always have a look. That's a little dog treat bag. I always have that with uh, with bird seed and bird seed, few meal worms, and just for uh, just for coaxing stuff down. Bit of grain. That's that. Seat mat. Again, bit of comfort. It's just a waxed uh, folding seat pad and a bit of cordage. Camouflage paracord. That's ace. Yes, that stuff. For uh, if I can, if I want to knock a hide up, I can just cook some uh, some length of lengths of hazel and lash them together. Make a frame. I can bung my camo net over the top, and we've got a little hide. Good to go. That is it. That's everything I take when I'm out on a photo shoot. Um, nothing, nothing too fancy. Basic stuff. 
A lot of it's to do with concealment and camouflage and hide making, but I like to have it with me. I don't, I don't like to travel light. A uh, few people I know, they, they just take the camera and a couple of things in their pockets, but there's many times when I've been out, I've been, say, I, you know, I might have been out photographing owls and nothing's showing and I might have seen a hare or a fox and I'd, I want to change change tact, if you will. I might want to knock a little hide up, like I said, and, um, you know, if I haven't got the gear to do it, well, that day's sc scuppered, in it? You know, that day's ruined. So it gives me the ability, if, I've, if I'm carrying the stuff, it gives me the ability to change my plans and and adapt and hopefully get the shots that I'm after. Uh, you know, you come on with, with the bonus, which is great. So that's it. Like I said, I'll uh, I'm going to drop a link underneath uh, in the in the the section under the video uh, with links to some of the equipment. You know, have a look at it. Um, if you've liked the video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it. Uh, drop us a comment, any questions, I'll always answer the questions, um, and that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.